The Separations The first separation came once the human race started to expand, as a result of Africans traveling to Europe. During the harsh climate change, their nutritional intake transformed their skin color into the Caucasoid subrace over time. After Africans' initial migration to Europe, Christ died, and then the New Testament was established from the original scrolls. And then the Jews were forced by the Romans to share inheritances, something we all take for granted. Even though this was considered as breaking the Ten Commandments. DNA has proven human race genetics of skin color have influenced different chromosomes of ethnic ancestry. DNA studies have proven there is one human race with subraces rather than races. And although the Indians received their inheritance from Africans as descendants, this allows them to own tribal lands throughout the USA. Just as other subraces received their inheritance from Africans as descendants. Now all born again people are a true Israel, with sanctification unto God. The inheritance is for anyone who acknowledges Christ in the heart regardless of the forthcoming facts. Race vs. Raka, the second separation came back then when Jews used the word Raka to verify separating another from God. The word race having two meanings was compared together. And the word race has been used to win a race by separating another from God or sub-races. It was used to reign superiority over another. But since, technology has established there is one human race. There is no need for separation from God, with there being only one God in most modern-day religions. The third separation came when the word Gentile was used to separate others within sub-races. In the Old Testament, it was used as a Hebrew word goy which means nation of people unrelated to Jews. The plural form is goyim. Genesis 12 colon 2, Genesis 25 colon 23, then it is used as the Greek word ethnos which means an exact nation the same as the Hebrew word goy. Luke 7 colon 1, John 11 50, Romans 1 14, in short, wherever you see the word Gentile in the Bible it refers to nation, race or people. Other meanings of Gentiles are clan, family, or tribe. Genesis 12 colon 2, I will make of thee a great nation, and Genesis 25 colon 23, two nations are in thy womb, refer to Israelites or descendants of Abraham. In Genesis 10 colon 5 referring to people of the world descendants of Japheth. The translation Gentiles is used in some instances as in Matthew 10 colon 5 6 to indicate non-Israelite individuals. Gentiles referred to, Greco-Roman population of the Roman Empire, as in Acts 10 34 47. Most of which refer to non-Jew, Hebrew people. The Bible has been used as propaganda. It means a form of communication that is aimed towards influencing the attitude of communities, toward causes, or positions by presenting one side of an argument. Abraham established the belief there's only one God that is the creator of the universe. Hezekiah, Ezekias, is the one who established the Bible to read referring to one God. To sell the idea of the Hebrew meaning, of God whom the parents worship God has strengthened, Yahweh strengthens. Hezekiah is in Jesus' genealogy records. The wicked Manichus Hezekiah was Manasseh also known as Manasseh's father, he was a king of Judah during the 7th and 8th centuries. The Jews in Jerusalem say there are inconsistent stories in the Bible. Like the first five books of the Bible written by four individuals, not by Moses. The Old and New Testaments have been re-edited many times. According to the Dead Sea Scrolls, with the pressure of the Gospel, Jesus didn't die on the cross, he survived with the two who were crucified with him. He was given poison and put in a cave left to die, and Simon administered aloe and myrrh to revive Jesus. He left the cave and lived at least 30 years thereafter. The Bible was manufactured for babes to hide Jesus' legitimacy, the virgin birth, and the resurrection. To learn more about Jesus after the crucifixion, read my book Jesus' Mission on Amazon. The Jews of Jerusalem in 2008 said they have the original scroll version but say they are not letting the Bible be re-edited again, they need it to keep Jerusalem intact. Having said that, slavery and other laws were supposed to have been declared in justice in 1865, way after Jesus was put on the cross. Even though Christians are taught he died for our sins, leaders revised history to support evasive decisions. The aftermath was still going on to break the spirit and oppress the poor clear up to the late 1900s, and some forms of limiting proper moral character still exist today. Obvious signs were changed laws and ordinances, to keep poor people from believing to achieve. Once the poor put faith in God, they weren't able to achieve to claim victory, and generation after the next remained in poverty. Today is New Day slavery is well known to be obsolete for better reasons. The poor must acknowledge but don't let it hinder you from success in life. When God acknowledges individuals, he visualizes the entire human race. We, humans, need something to base our life upon, or we will truly destroy others living the simple life. The human race now comes with many different beliefs, values, and traditions. The belief to honor Jesus Christ's resurrection was a favorable option for the entire human race. All the nations value and want to benefit from the divine promise. Myths or Facts 1. Purification only can be done with the words of the Bible. Fact Human Body, Health has to be altered to become purified. 
purification is needed to be undefiled of the flesh from cancer and diseases, and to remain incorruptible. 2. Satan as the devil was a human body in the Bible. Myth The word devil is used in the Bible as an illusion or reflection of a person's character. The devil is associated with a demon or enemy that intervenes in daily lives, and the character or characters have fallen from faith and grace. It relates to sin or temptation we are to avoid. Satan also remains as an actor, avatar, or cartoon character of evil, sin, or temptation seen in movies. Lucifer as the devil was a fallen angel that relates to the adversary. And the angel of death also known as an archangel in the Bible, is used today to reflect on lies, manipulation, and killings or murder. During the New Testament times, talks of the devil became more prevalent. Though there are one God belief and the devil we create in ourselves. God intends for us to stand for obedience and truths. But often people reflect on past experiences to resist God rather than, acknowledging his true understanding of the word. The devil and the separations are among many things that stand in the way of the human race being resurrected from death as a whole. The word devil is a way to mass words you should clarify when you mean the devil. The word Lucifer appears one time in, Isaiah 14 12. And the word devil appears 106 times in the KJV, 4 in the Old Testament, and 102 in the New Testament. And have put on the new man, which is purified and renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him. Colossians 3:10. this is one thing Lucifer never really gave thought to. Avoid giving the devil their shine. Even though the number 666 is a sign of bad luck, 616 were the original bad numbers. Most individuals I knew from the bad communities were born with these numbers in their birth, were individuals who believed the world was against these numbers. They felt no hope and playing the fallen angel could get them awareness as a leader, and then they could make deals as the devil. They valued taking matters into their own hands as a demon or devil in the community and keeping others from achieving success. No, it wasn't Lucifer. It was any bad girl or guy out there representing dirty dealings and offering dirty dwelling places for people to dwell. Telling them no one will forgive their worst sin, and this is where misery loves company. Let's just be clear this is how some fallen angels operate. The reason you don't give devil ownership, individuals love making deals, and dwelling places find ways through the Bible first. As a witness of God, you must be loyal to him first. And sure God didn't intend for us to give the devil character its shine, to overlook many blessings you're to achieve through God's grace. There have been individuals born with 6s in their birth who have become very successful people. They appear to have been focused on the prize of humanitarian. That isn't to say, they weren't of God's standards he doesn't cast us out because we were born this way. There's a contingency on our faith with long-term obedience, this provides key evidence of whether you have become acceptable to God. This is how he regards any of our faith. Short story if you think your life sucks too, take a look at the white ravens. White ravens, birds, are eaten by their mom a few days after they hatch. They are not as rare as one might think, they don't make it to become adults. White ravens aren't albinos, they simply have no melanin in their bodies. Since they are different, few of them manage to grow up full size, and they get bullied by other ravens. They never breed because nobody likes them, and they are on their own for a lifetime. End of the Unlimited Resurrection Book